Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. Today we're in the mission editor for DCS World looking at creating static weather for your mission. Super simple, so you can do this any time during the mission making process before you save and run it. And we're going to go to this icon here, click on that. I've got two main options, static and dynamic. Dynamics for another day. Today we're just looking at static. The so first thing we need to do is the starting date and time of our mission. So we've got 1st of June 2011 selected here. And that's 8 o'clock in the morning with a 24-hour clock. Now, just bear in mind that the time will be relevant and the season will be relevant to the placement on the Earth that we've got. We're in Persian Gulf here. So, whereas up in Europe, for instance, you know, June is summer. Well, June is not summer in the Persian Gulf. It's spring or autumn, I can't remember. So, when it comes to kind of daytime light levels at certain times, you just bear that in mind. Then, under the static options, we've got the temperature at sea level there. We can go, we used to be able to put this in minus figures, but we can only go down now a certain amount depending on which uh, map you're using. So, Persian Gulf can only go down to 14. Next, uh, the clouds and atmosphere. So you want you need to set a base for the clouds in thousands of feet ASL, uh, or sorry, in feet ASL. So I'm going to set them here at 10,000 feet. That is the base of the clouds and the thickness of the clouds. So from the base of the clouds to the topness of the clouds to the top of the clouds, you can set them at 3,000 feet. Density, how thick the clouds are. If there are one, then they're very sparsely dotted about clouds and all the way up to 10. It's one big solid cloud as if it were be a thunderstorm. Precipitation, so none, so no rain, or you can have it rain, or you can have it thunderstorm. With thunderstorm, you have lightning and thunder sound effects. It's very cool. Set the base Q and H at sea level here. We're at the standard 29.92 inches of mercury here, and you can change that if you want. Next is the wind, and you have to add the wind direction and speed at certain altitudes. So 33 feet, and these are ASL, by the way. 33 feet, and you can create them at, say, 30 knots and that direction. Now, 1,600 feet is always double or just over double of what 33 feet is. I have no idea why. It must be some kind of standard thing in weather that I don't understand, but it'd be interesting if anyone knew why. That was 6,600 feet ASL, then I want it 15 in that direction, and 26,000, I want it that speed in that direction. And you can go all the way up to 99, which makes 206 knots at that uh, which is pretty awesome to fly and really good fun if you want to do that. Silly, obviously, but there you go. Next is the turbulence. So this is an addition to the static wind. So this wind here is static. It's a constant force in a certain direction at a certain speed as chosen, if you like. Turbulence is something we add on the top. It's randomly fluctuating and it's in units here measured 0.1 times the feet. So you can add that on there. It makes it more dynamic. Fog is pretty cool if we want fog on we have to click fog enable we can then choose the amount of visibility in distance of feet that we have so that would give me a distance visibility distance of 6,000 feet and the thickness is the how tall how high the fog rises from the ground which is sea level ASL so that would have 6,000 feet up to 1,000 feet ASL there Dust, I've never actually used this, this is relatively new, but uh, dust uh, smoke enable, presumably it's only for the desert maps, so I stand to be corrected. And again, you've got amount of visibility in feet. And we've got the ability here to load different presets, summer, rain, winter, clouds and wind and whatnot. And that will change this to that preset, or you can load up uh, saved weather that you've saved, or save, if I wanted to save this, I'd save this, and you can remove weather as well. Uh, that's it for the static weather. We're doing now for the one when on the dynamic weather when I can figure it out myself. Other than that, I hope that helps and see you later.